Okay, this is a bit of a short film just to provide an overview of what we'd like to do with this structure. This was uh, how it looked apparently in better days before it arrived to this condition. A lot of rot has taken its toll. A lot of uh, bad construction methodology led to a lot of water infiltration. So a lot of rot is going on. But we want to take it uh, from this, and this is kind of what it looks like overview. Uh, I'll try to cover some of the major points of this in this film very quickly, and, and the person can uh, use the photographs to s figure out a little bit more until the drawings are made. But all of this stuff under here will be removed and replaced with alternative materials. Uh, this roof plane is going to get extended over to here and this is going to provide a covered area. This, all of this stuff is going to come down and it's just going to be railings. We're going to provide a dry under space. This will be dry under here using one system or another. And so we're going to take it from uh, this kind of a thing here to this. We're going to, when we extend this roof, we're just going to redo that plane and the black shingles. You really can't see these areas from the ground. And this is pavers and sand. This will actually be, it's shown as styed stamped concrete, but it'll probably be a flagstone built up on top of a concrete slab. Uh, and that's the rest of it. I'm just going to let the photos uh, tell the story. So, uh, yes, from this to this, including repainting the entire house, and from the ground, we go from something like this, we're going to get rid of a lot of, or some of these uh, columns, including some of the oddballs, uh, and just get something a little more uh, uniform and uh, fewer of them. Just going to remove all of this, including the deck material, just going to remove all of that. Even this ceiling gets cut back because we're going to reframe this roof for exposed uh, rafters, etc. To arrive here, and then for overview on this side, uh, it gives you a little bit of this would be a pergola situation down through here. The wall will be painted as well. Brick wall will be painted and uh, capped with some sort of cultured stone cap. We're going to go from that to this. We're not overly concerned about the change in material here because you probably, I don't think you're going to be able to see that from the street, particularly, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it from the street, uh, particularly with the existing landscape, which will probably be in place for some years to come. Moving underneath the deck, then, we're going to create a uh, dry space. We'll either use the Trex's rain escape so that we can use a tongue and groove wood under here or maybe uh, in a lesser scenario we would use uh, ultimate under deck which is a metal ceiling that kind of slopes down like this and the gutter system out here. In any case we want this to be dry under here. Get rid of a lot of the stuff under here. We're not sure exactly whether there's going to be additional paving material down through here. That has not been uh, fully developed. These doors here are in really bad shape. I'm showing uh, replacement with windows, replacement with doors, windows. It's going to be about the same either way, but one way or another, those probably need addressed. Uh, so that's, you know, try to get to this from that. And then I believe we go upstairs and then try to take it from this to something like this. Turning around to the other direction, looking east, southeast. Uh, try to arrive here from, try to arrive here, you can see it better at night. Try to arrive at this situation from that situation. You can see that the roof covering now extends all the way over to the end. We're not sure what this material here will be yet, so it's kind of just generically shown right now. 
This again is going to be reclaimed lumber if it's possible. Going downstairs then, this is kind of what they've got underneath there, the open deck, water coming through here. This is a covered area here with some sort of a built up roof. This makes it really close to the door, so we're hoping to get that raised up. You can see to something like this. Uh, right here, that is shown, that little gutter underneath is what's collecting the rainwater from the top, regardless of what kind of waterproofing system we use on top. There's downspout that runs through here, we, or gutter that runs through here, and we'll probably channel our downspout through the hollow sections of one or more of those columns. Uh, you know, an alternative to that is using uh, the ultimate under deck and then framing, two by four framing below that uh, so that we can use a wood ceiling because that's uh, what we're aiming for at the end. And um, so that's quick and then I'll show you uh, do a little, couple film views here non-narrated film views of the underneath and uh, the broader exterior.